In games I didn't expect to get a sequel, we have Mom Hid My Game 2. Now, oddly, this series now seems to be some kind of odd cinematic universe, for goodness sake, because we've now got My Brother Ate My Pudding, and I think there's a couple of other games in this series kicking about now too. And the idea behind it is that they're mini point-and-click adventure-style puzzles to solve. So you control your little hand and then you click on various different objects in the levels. Each level is normally between one and three screens long, but with very few things to actually click on. There's like comedic outcomes of being caught by your mom in this one as you try and capture your game. And actually part of the fun is to find all of the different ways our mum can catch you. Uh, and it ends up with a game over and a failure. Whilst you're going through finding how to get your game back with all of the different things that happen. So it could be that it's been put in a washing machine, behind a sofa, inside a wall, across the street. There's all different kinds of things. I think, there's a, if I remember rightly, the giraffe returns in this game as well. Um, you've also got your sister who is just perennially being bullied by the family. Your granddad is just asleep and lazy throughout the entire thing as well. And it's quite a nice like send up of the traditional 2.4 children Japan style with some slapstick, ridiculous, like in your face, ha 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 ha, where, 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 comedy. Now, I like the aesthetic, the art style, the hue of all of this. The problem I have with this game specifically, Mom Hid My Game 2, is that it doesn't advance anything from the first game onwards. There's a few times where you go into some new locations and it's not purely like a blue living room background. And there's one or two uh, levels where you might like pilot a drone and then you have to like flappy birds it for like one or two levels in a mini game. But outside of that, an awful lot of the kind of breaking the fourth wall elements that the first game did, such as like moving around the menu screen or spotting where you can break the level and get outside it and do something else. That was all part of the original's charm. And because we've now come to learn that that's how these levels are done, what they haven't then done is think, how crazily can we expand on that theory? Instead, they've taken the exact same things and just done it again. So this feels like a game that should have been DLC more than anything else. Um, and it's a shame because what it does is it then brings down the original game in my estimation slightly because they now become just like a bit two games that are slightly bloated where it could have been one amazing game if that makes sense. And now that you've got My Brother Ate My Pudding on this kind of weird cinematic universe as well and that doesn't expand anything either. I feel like this is a one trick pony trying to see how many games it can get out before everyone just goes, no, enough. <laughs> and I feel like I may have hit my limit with this unless they start to innovate and do something more creative or really lean into breaking the full fall with their puzzle design. Written review over on highplanegames.com. You guys take care.